It's a very emotional scene out here. The fire department is still working on hot spots to make sure that the fire is completely out. This is where it all broke out just after 8 o'clock tonight. I had a chance to speak with the mother who lives here. She tells me that four of her children were taken to the hospital. Three remain in the hospital tonight. Uh, they are doing okay, but they do have some injuries, and so they are being treated right now. Uh, she tells me that she doesn't know what she's going to do next, that this is a heartbreaking situation. She had just gone to the store for a moment to go get them some snacks and some food and to prepare for the upcoming week, and things happen so quickly. Now, the fire department has not confirmed exactly how this fire has started to us, um, but most of the damage we can see from right here outside. Uh, it's possible that this may have been an electrical fire, um, but we don't know as of right now. But what we do know tonight is that three children are in the hospital with injuries sustained from this fire. Uh, a mother is figuring out what to do next. Both of, the dam uh, both of the buildings beside this one are slightly damaged according to the fire department, and they plan to be here for another hour or so to continue to work to get these hot spots put out and make sure that the structure is safe. Uh, but that's the latest from here along Frederick Avenue and South Catherine Street. We'll be out here uh, bringing you the latest information from this scene. Reporting live in Baltimore tonight, I'm Megan Rivers.